The devil rays, the mobulus that we find here in the Azores are quite mysterious because we know very little about their ecology. What are they doing during their travels and their really, really deep dives? It's very, very understudied. We started thinking about a method that would allow us to tag the mobulus without being so invasive. I first observed one mobula that was stuck on an anchor line and she wasn't able to reverse and simply go away from the, that anchor line. And so the idea popped out, if the animals move forward all the time, we can use something different, like a loop. The way I think that we should try to attach the tag, a collar that would go on the sides of the cephalic fins, the timing has to be perfect. A couple of seconds late, then we can't follow them yeah. too fast. The first attempts using free diving was to dive and wait for the mobulus to come past you. And it didn't work simply because the mobulus, they just turn away. Then we realized that we should come from above. The mobulus would be less aware of our presence. That was another miss. Obviously, like any new method, there's a learning curve. So we have to try, we fail, we rethink, we do it differently until we nail it. We had fantastic data showing that these uh, rays can dive from uh, the surface to 200 meters in just a few minutes. They might be finding some food on deeper layers on the slopes of the seamounts because their putative food items are simply not available <laughs> close to the surface. I'm happy with that. Yeah. <laughs>